So his arguments rage over the party gate and also the handling of the COVID-19 crisis in the United Kingdom. The British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has been blamed for asking the government to let the coronavirus rip a bit. And this is according to a new diary extract that's been disclosed to the COVID inquiry. The Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, who is in fact back then was a Chancellor in the Boris Johnson's cabinet during the COVID, is now set to face an interrogation next week. And this comes after the former Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that the public's characterization of party gate was far from the truth. The latest revelation has come on the heels of Rishi Sunak denying, saying that the government should in fact just let people die, rather than impose a second national lockdown, an allegation that's been denied by the leader. The latest excerpt has blamed the Prime Minister of telling the government to let the virus rip a bit. And the Prime Minister had earlier refuted the allegation that it surfaced in the previously released diary note. Now, the notes in question were made by the Boris government's chief scientific advisor during COVID, Patrick Valance. And the note is from a conversation between the then Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, and the Finance Minister, Rishi Sunak. Another extract from the same record has revealed that Rishi Sunak had also pushed for the immediate lifting of COVID restrictions and getting rid of all curbs. Now, earlier in the week, former Prime Minister Boris Johnson was also interrogated after public anger erupted over the COVID lockdown breaching parties called the Party Gate. The inquiry has heard evidence from advisers that fear the impact of the pandemic on the economy and Boris Johnson did not allow for another lockdown. This in turn had caused the virus to spread uncontrollably and the former Prime Minister is not required to testify any further though he is asked for a new investigation into the matter. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.